Hello, I'm Colette Maudsley, Dean of Higher Education and Access at the Hubert University Centre. It's lovely to see you here, all here today and hopefully between myself and the staff within the Faculty of Creative Industries, we will be able to give you an insight into the courses we offer and what it's like to study here. Firstly, I would like to thank you for tuning in today and I'm delighted you were considering studying with us here at the, univers at the University Centre. We offer a friendly and supportive learning environment whilst also providing you with the tailored support you need to be successful. We deliver through small class sizes with varied teaching and, lesson and assessment methods that will include blended learning moving forward. This ensures our undergraduates receive individual attention. Our staff are also used to working with students of all ages and we welcome applications from mature learners. We recognise that in many instances, work and life experience can be an asset and may qualify mature students entry onto one of our university level courses. In June 2017, the Hubert University Centre was awarded the highest possible gold rating for its higher education provision from the government scheme. The Teaching Excellence Framework was introduced to provide evidence about the performance of the higher education sector in the UK. We believe that this award, coupled with the growing number of our undergraduates achieving first class honours, demonstrates our continued commitment to raising aspirations, increasing opportunities for all, and inspiring students to achieve their full potential. We currently work with three higher education institutions, the University of Central Lancashire, the University of Cumbria, and Liverpool John Moores University, which means your degree comes from them. In terms of the Faculty of Creative Industry courses, they are all validated by the University of Central Lancashire. Our foundation entry, foundation degree and degree level courses are valued by employers from a variety of industries and are designed to prepare students for success in their chosen field, enabling them to leave the Hubert University Centre career ready. You don't need to pay for tuition fees upfront, the fees, uh, tuition fee loans cover university tuition fees and are paid direct to the college by Student Finance England. These are repayable and are available to all eligible students regardless of household income. We have details of how to apply on our website. We offer our full-time students a £500 Hubert University Centre bursary gift on successful completion of each year of their course. We do have terms and conditions that apply. Students will be asked to apply for this when they join us in the new academic year. The graduation ceremony is a time for celebration and is the highlight of the Hubert University Centre's year. The ceremony marks our graduates' hard work and dedication. It's an opportunity for students to reflect on their time at the University Centre and celebrate with family, friends and staff. The ceremony features guest speakers, speeches from teaching staff and the presentation of awards and achievements to graduates. The event is held at Bootle Town Hall and is then followed by a reception at the Hubert University Centre. So with no further ado, I would like to introduce you to our HG academic lead that manages the Faculty of Creative Industries, Martin Harrington. Hi, I'm Martin Harrington. I am one of the higher education academic leads. Uh, primarily, my job is quality assurance to make sure that your time here at the University Centre goes as smoothly as possible and that you come out with the, uh, the outcome that uh, you've worked so hard to get. And as Colette said, along with uh, my faculty lead, Angela O'Brien, uh, I'm responsible for managing the Faculty of Creative Industries. So I'd like to welcome you to uh, this uh, Meet the Team, uh, our discovery day for, for create, uh, Creative Industries. And uh, whether you have a particular degree in mind that you want to study with us, or whether you just never really thought about uh, studying a degree before, uh, hopefully we'll have something that uh, can interest you. Um, in general, uh, our applicants uh, are usually required to have uh, studied at level three prior to doing a degree with us. So that's something like an A-level 
or uh, having a BTEC extended diploma or similar qualification. And normally uh, you'd be expected to have uh, at least three GCSEs, grades uh, A to C or uh, nine to four in new money, um, and two of those in English and maths. However, it may well be that you, you don't have these qualifications. You, you may have not studied uh, for a while, uh, and you, you may not have that, that, those kind of standard uh, educational qualifications. It may be you're a mature student. It may be that you have a, a lot of experience in industry. But there are many different routes. Uh, if, if you've not got those traditional uh, qualifications, there are many different routes in, into some of our degrees. Uh, a lot of our foundation degrees, for example, have a year zero or a foundation foundation entry year attached to them, which means that uh, rather than taking two years to do a foundation degree, you could do it over three years and then that foundation year kind of eases you into it. It may also be that you uh, have uh, extensive uh, experience in industry, which under the, uh, the regulations of our partner university uh, does mean that we may be able to take that into account and uh, grant you entry onto the course. So if you're a mature student, uh, we would really like to hear from you. We, we, we kind of really welcome applications from mature students, particularly those people who may have been in industry uh, and have a lot of uh, experience. So don't be put off if, if you don't feel you, you have the entry uh, qualifications. Please get in touch and uh, our staff will be more than happy to talk to you and advise you on the route that's best for you. In terms of the support you can expect while you're here, uh, all students are given a uh, entry task to do when they uh, when when they enrol with us, and uh, that means that we can uh, initially assess you and identify your individual starting point. So it may be that you need additional support in areas to do with academic writing, for example, for referencing. And then we can identify that and make sure that you, you receive these uh, study skills uh, sessions uh, and, and get the support you need. And, and it may also be that uh, in addition to these, uh, these, these study skills sessions, you uh, have support from one of our student experience officers. So, our mission is to support you. It, it may well be as well that you, you, you have a specific learning difference that you, you feel may impact on your, on, your, on your ability to study. So uh, a common um, difference, of course, is dyslexia that uh, our students uh, often find can be a barrier. And, and we're here to support you with that. If you feel there is something that will uh, impact on, on, on your study, please give us a call. Let us know. And uh, we'll put you in touch with our DSA coordinator. Uh, Matt Wilson, who can talk you through possibility of getting extra support through Student Finance England. Um, in terms of the courses themselves, uh, all our courses have been written with uh, employment in mind uh, and, and uh, written in conjunction with industry experts and uh, advisors from those particular areas so you can, you can be assured that the the skills that you you will learn uh on the course will make sure that you are ready for employment and ready for industry uh, in particular we, we have a, 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 an extensive kind of program of guest speakers uh that can come in and they, they talk to, to students uh one of the the, the ones we run e every year is the Meet the Professionals event, where we bring in a series of uh, professionals from, from, a, from across the different industries to talk to students and advise them about career opportunities uh, and areas that, that they, can, they can progress into. Uh, in addition to that, um, all our staff uh, within the, the creative industries uh, faculty are industry experts. A lot of them are still active in the uh, their own particular field. So you, you will benefit from up-to-date uh, advice, guidance, and uh, support from, from practitioners who really know their way around the particular industry. So in a minute, I'm going to introduce you to the staff. But first of all, 
we're going to show you the uh, our degree video from uh, degree show, show video from from last year. This this is where our uh, students showcase their their, their final uh, projects and uh, their talent. So just some highlights of, of student work there. It's always a, a great time of year just to see uh, students' uh, efforts coming together and uh, displaying their talent. So I'd like to introduce you to, to the staff now. Um, so the staff uh, representing uh, a number of courses in, in creative industries. So things like creative makeup design and practice, digital imaging and photography, fashion and textiles, graphic design, interior and spatial design, and moving image production and visual merchandising and promotional design. If you have uh, any questions, or is there any, anything you uh, would like to know more about, please do drop us a line and we'll uh, be happy to talk to you about our offer. So without further ado, um, I'd like to introduce uh, Colette Maudsley again, who's uh, stepping in for our faculty lead, Angela O'Brien, today. Hi, welcome back again. Um, I'll be talking through a number of courses within the Faculty of Creative Industries to you today. Firstly, I want to talk about the Foundation Diploma in Art and Design, otherwise known as FAD. Uh, this is a level three course. It's not validated through UCLan. It is validated via the WJEC. So it is technically a further education course. It's a one year course that offers an ideal practical route into the area of art and design and will pre prepare you for higher education study within this creative field. It is suitable for a range of students with different creative skills and interests and aims to challenge you to hone your artistic and design talents and direct you towards the most appropriate career path. You will have the opportunity to experience a range of different and exciting design disciplines as well as exploring traditional aspects of art and design in order to identify your key strengths and areas of interest. The entry requirements for this course are five GCSEs at grade four or above, including maths and English. In the old money, grade C or above. Uh, in, with ex in exceptional circumstances, we may be able to um, take you on the course uh, with a, a creative portfolio, but you would need to speak, apply and speak to the course leader who is Donna Wright. Progression from this course, successful progression, will allow you to go on to a degree course, and that might be at the university centre here, but it could be elsewhere as well. Um, a lot of students that have completed A-level courses um, and might have done an art and design, a textiles as part of their A-level programme, and want to go into the creative industries or an art and design route, tend to go on these courses to build up their portfolio in order for them to then have the interview. So it, it's a great course in order to do that. The next course I want to talk to you today about is the Integrated Foundation Entry Option, otherwise known as our Year Zero courses. 
Um, so Martin alluded to this before. Um, so the, the foundation um, entry course is a course that is designed for those of you that want to study um, onto a foundation degree with us, but don't necessarily have those entry requirements. So ideal for mature students that may, may have been out of education for a while, or for students that have come with a different background, but really do want to get into the creative industries. So it's a one year course, and the modules that you'll be studying will be art and design studies, design investigation, specialism skills and drawing and image communication. And it gives you the opportunity to explore a range of design practices in that year before you go on to the foundation degree in your chosen specialism. So all of those courses that we're going to talk to you today about, this course gives you a taste into them. So photography, makeup, visual merchandise, and move and image, graphic design, um, interior spatial awareness, all of those courses you will taste on this course and then you'll specialize in semester two. But in terms of both of those courses, it will, it will give you an insight into the creative disciplines, um, but it will also develop your creative skills and your confidence before you embark on that undergraduate course. The next course I want to talk to you today about is the Foundation Degree and the BA Honours Interior and Spatial Awareness course. Unique to the course is its focus on the diverse retail and leisure industries allowing you to showcase relevant and engaging retail interior designs within the wider social and leisure spaces associated with great retail centres. This is a creative discipline that will encourage you to expand the boundaries of current design thinking to create new experiences and relationships between technology, people, space and places. As you develop, you'll be encouraged and supported to explore your own personal design style. Now, the entry requirements for this course are 64 UCAS points or a level three qualification. Um, and could be that you've already done the foundation entry course I've just mentioned, or you've come from a different sort of level three. We really love uh, mature students uh, to come onto our courses. And if you don't have those entry requirements, please apply. Uh, it might be that you're, you have other experience, life experience, as well as um, industry experience that you may be able to progress straight onto this level four undergraduate course. Progression from this course, so when you've completed your, your full course, uh, interior design, retail design, exhibition design, museum and spatial design, hospitality and leisure interior design. And the final course I want to talk to you about today is the foundation degree and the BA honors in visual merchandise and promotional design. This course has been designed in close collaboration with the retail sector to ensure the delivery of high, higher education qualification that will enable you to meet the demands of an ever-changing global retail design environment. Throughout the course, you'll be involved in work-based related learning, which will give you the opportunity to apply new skills and knowledge to a real working situation. The course offers an introduction in year one to a range of skills and knowledge in visual merchandising and promotional design, which include the design process through project briefs, visual merchandise and theory and practice, fashion promotion and styling, spatial awareness, 2D and 3D digital design, product presentation, and historical contextual studies. Within year two, skills are applied in the following areas, live briefs, advanced product presentation, fashion promotion, visual merchandising, retail brand identity and promotion, contemporary contextual studies, preparing for industry employment, and the designing and installation of a final major project. Within year three, it's really future design that we look at. So again, concentrating very much on commercial design, future design proposals, and preparing you for the industry. On successful completion, students have progressed into visual merchandising, fashion styling, fashion promotion, graphic design, retail interior design, 
retail management, retail buying, exhibition design, display design, and product stylist. Again, the entry requirements for this course are 64 UCAS points or a relevant level three qualification, A levels, BTEC, et cetera, a foundation entry, and again, mature students, we would love to hear from you. As with both undergraduate courses, all students who successfully complete the degree, so this is your full honours degree that you can complete with us, have the opportunity to progress on to master's level qualifications, which some of our students do at different universities, or postgraduate certificate in education or PGCE, so teaching qualifications for further education. Alternatively, graduates may wish to go direct into employment. In terms of staff, all staff that work on these programmes have relevant industry experience and academic qualifications. They are design practitioners in their own right and are dedicated to their profession. I would now like to introduce you to the case study for visual merchandising and promotional design. Kate Hill successfully completed the foundation degree in visual merchandising and promotional design course. And off the back of a final major project, founded the unique and exciting Liverpool children's clothing brand, Lola Star, specialising in interchangeable clothing. Kate has been back to the university, university centre on many occasions to talk to students about her business. She's a real life success story. I'd now like to pass you over to David Lockwood, the course leader for the foundation degree and the BA Honours in Digital Imaging and Photography. Hi, uh, I'm David Lockwood and I'm the course leader for the degrees in Digital Imaging and Photography. And I'm gonna give you a brief overview of the course aims and their content. We're currently working from home, having completed this year's cohort, but we expect to be teaching in the course studios and dark rooms when we start back in September using safe social distancing and appropriate PPE. The level four, five foundation degree and the level six BA honors top up degrees are designed for those wanting to develop advanced photographic practice and a clear understanding of how imagery can be used to communicate and express their vision or interpretation of the world. It's important to note that there is an integrated year zero option for people who are not quite ready for the foundation degree. And you can also apply straight to the BA top up if you have a level five HND from another institution as your starting point. On the course, students will have full access to photographic studio spaces and both digital and traditional facilities, including Apple Mac computers, Adobe CC software, large format digital printing and traditional darkrooms. You will be taught and receive focused one to one support from course tutors and the department facilitator, all of whom have extensive industry and educational experience, are current practitioners and have a real passion for the subject. Professional practice is a key element of our course and developing an understanding of industry expectations, skill levels and approach further underpins this. You will develop a thorough knowledge of the medium and your chosen field so you can become a highly independent and flexible practitioner, encouraged to experiment and explore your own ideas through projects which resolve both practical and critical issues. Both the FDA and the BA courses are designed to support you to become employable with transferable as well as comprehensive subject specific skills. There is an emphasis on vocational practice with opportunities for client based briefs and external competitions. An integrated part of your development are the opportunities to participate in field trips which enhance the course experience with previous destinations such as Rome Photographia. Paris Photo and London Photo, giving the potential not only to create work, but to experience the best of international photography. Guest lecturers are also used to broaden your understanding and the course has strong connections with the Open Eye Gallery at the Albert Dock, who have worked closely with our BA students on their final project module, which is shown at the Hubert Degree Show and for the last four years has been shown at the gallery itself. 
Whilst this year has been a challenge on many accounts, with great effort and engagement from staff and students, everyone has passed the course and seven of our BA Honours Top Up graduates received first class honours. That's an incredible 60% of the class achieving the top grade. Following graduation, many of our students then go on to employment, self-employment or further study, such as level seven master in arts photography courses. Potential photography and digital imaging career paths may include photojournalism, editorial, studio still life, portraiture, landscape, fashion or architecture photography, picture research, gallery or technical support. As an example of a student journey, Andrew Yates joined us for, on the foundation degree as a mature student with a small portfolio of work that mainly came from his interest in photography and travels. As his work developed through the three years, he started to specialise more in socially concerned photography, working with and photographing people within their communities. Graduating with a first class honours and having worked with the Open Eye Gallery as part of his final project, Andrew joined the gallery as an intern and was then offered a job as a creative producer um, with the gallery also supporting him to undertake the new MA in Socially Engaged Photography at Salford University. You can follow us at HBUC Photography on Instagram and Twitter to see the latest course related news and student work that's being produced from our course assignments. Thank you for listening. And now I'd like to introduce you to Sarah Davies, facilitator for creative makeup, design and practice. Hello. The Creative Makeup Design and Practice course offered at Hugh Baird University Centre is unlike any other local makeup course. It does not tailor you to one aspect of the makeup industry, whether that is special effects, film, theatre, beauty, editorial or fashion. It provides the students in-depth research, industry knowledge and practice in all aspects of makeup, therefore allowing each individual artist to find their own path within their makeup career. The course is design, is design driven, so you will not find repeated makeup looks here. You are taught and encouraged to apply unique creativeness to your designs, aiding you in your journey to the makeup artist you want to be. The course offers business knowledge and assignments to help you get up and running, industry guest speakers and global trips that revolve around everything makeup. Whether this is going to see a Broadway show in New York or having a tour around the Krylon factory in Berlin. Portfolio days throughout all years are provided at discounted prices with high-end professional photographers to help you build your portfolios. This course provides you with the tools you will need to get out into industry. Year one is a great year, whether you've come from previous makeup course or an art background, there will be no repeat of what you're taught on level three or two. However, if you have low, no to little knowledge or skill set in makeup application, the course is designed to have everyone learning at the same stage whilst developing everyone's skill set and knowledge. The first year entitles a bit of everything. You begin with a scripted module which provides you with the chance of discovering what is required from a makeup artist on a film set. Going through the script breakdown, the makeup design and changes for the characters to what products are used on set for the high definition cameras. Alongside this, you will have A&P lessons where you are taught the anatomy of the body, which affects the makeup application and design. This is particularly important to know when creating prosthetics and applying special effects makeup, providing a realistic quality to your makeup, which will increase your chances of employability if special effects, TV and film is your desired destination. Don't worry, beauty is not forgotten. Through the first year, there are also modules where you are given a design brief to create unique concepts whether they are editorial, fashion inspired, or simple and beautiful. You go through the design process in depth, which leads to a photo shoot, photo shoot session. There are multiple design briefs given within this module, providing you with high-end images for your portfolio already in year one. Each year becomes more and more independent, as in the first year, we help the students through the modules on how to really analyze, critique, evaluate, and grow through the design process creating those individual concepts. This year is more about you and your own intuition. Upon the second year, there will be a business module where you will go in depth through a five-year business plan, creating a website, building clients, your portfolio and more. 
all cater to the individual so each student so each student can set up their path the main module through this year is at the end where the students will create a never seen before character utilizing the techniques they have learned in the past two years whether that is special effects and prosthetics airbrush body painting or beauty all cater to the desired media for the character's photo shoot that could be an editorial fashion shoot intended for a magazine or a theater or film poster the BA top up year is the most independent year. The modules force you to be forward thinking and open your mind to the world of makeup and design. This year really helps cater you into the MUA you want to become. Consisting of a vast amount of self-reflection, experimentation in the industry field you want to grow in. At the end of each year, there is an end of year show which allows the students to present their best work for a private and public showing attended by your loved ones and people from industry. There are workshops provided to all students all year round, so no need to go externally to learn extra skills. These workshops are provided by myself, and it's an open conversation between me and the students to provide suggestions of what you would like to learn in those workshops. All the tutors upon the course have a vast amount of experience within the industry and are still active now, providing you with up-to-date skills and knowledge. There have been past students who have left and embarked on great careers, including a past student, Andrew. He is a highly skilled hairdresser and stylist, owning an award-winning salon. He came to the course with no to little makeup knowledge and has grown his skills and contacts through the years, going down to do Fashion Week in London and overseas. He took a year out and he came back onto the BA in top-up year and it's been brilliant to see him grow. Now, I would like to introduce Andy Jones for graphics. Hi, everybody.
I'm really sorry. It looks like Andy is having a bit of trouble with his uh, mic at the moment. So, Andy, if I can ask if you can just reload your browser for us, please. Back on. Um, in the meantime, I think if we can just have, if there are any questions, if you can start to um, put some questions into the chat, that would be great. And then we can um, get back with Andy as soon as he comes on. So do we have any questions initially that I might be able to answer? OK, so we've got a question from Wendy who asks, is it possible to study when you have children? Absolutely. We have loads of students that join us at the University Centre on most of our courses who do have children, care and responsibilities, work-life commitments and um, it's just about making sure that we can work around that and you can work around it the way we do our timetables is the majority of our design courses are over two and a half days a week which is a full-time course um, and we we really do take the time on those timetables to ensure that um that they are over two and a half days and they're not spread out amongst five days where you're in, out, in, out. So we are very, very conscious of that. Um, I'm not gonna lie, you know, you're 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 signing up for a degree course where you will have to do work outside, especially within the creative uh, industries. Um, and throughout the year, there will be more and more work, um, but ultimately our studios are open um, and a lot of our mature students will come in if the students, if, if their children are, are in school. Um, okay, so um, I think we've got Andy back. Hopefully, his sound is okay. Is it working? Just now? It's working brilliant. So I do apologise, everyone. Please bear with me. I'm sure you're desperate to hear about Andy's course. So Andy, over to you. Hi, everybody. Again. I don't know where we got to last time. Uh, we've just talked about the um, foundation degree and BA top up in graphic design and with examples from our producer of the course that have been popping up. What I'd also like to talk about is the foundation degree in fashion and textiles. And again, like all our courses, we offer a foundation degree and the opportunity to attend the BA top up too. This dynamic course will encourage you to uh, take a creative approach to fashion and textiles. It's been written in close collaboration with both students and industry professionals, allowing you to develop your individual practice that is underpinning, underpinned by social, cultural and eth ethical awareness of the global industry. We encourage and uh, offer the opportunity to explore aesthetics through a range of materials, techniques, including pattern cutting, construction, digital illustration, and communication. Year one, developing your knowledge and underpinning fashion and textiles design. Historical contextual studies, fashion illustration, communication um, with drawing, and the ability to work independently with a, a wide range of other techniques, such as stitch, print, knit, constructed textile workshops, which will also be delivered um, for you to explore and experiment with. The course has uh, resulted in some students starting their own clothing label, uh, working for also uh, individuals such as Kirsty Doyle, a well-known Liverpool fashion designer. And we've also had a past student who did some collaboration with Victoria Beckham also. Um, what I'd like to show you now is the uh, degree show video. Uh, and you know, you never know, after the second year, you can um graduate with the foundation degree in fashion and textiles get the cap and gown and all the jazz and also you get the opportunity to also do that 
if you can um, enroll and complete the BA Honours top up. Thank you. Excellent. How good's that? Um, sorry about any glitches. However, I'm going to invite you to ask any questions and hopefully we'll be able to answer them. Thank you very much. Hi. Hi. Really I've got a question that's come in. Edward asks, uh, I haven't been at college for over 10 years and I don't have any formal qualifications in photography as I've really seen it as a hobby, but I'd now like to take it more seriously uh, as a possible career. Would I be suitable for your course? Yes, we have many mature students applying for their course who don't necessarily have qualifications prior to entry. Um, we look at mature students in a different way. We look at their previous experience, you know, any job related stuff they're doing. But in essence, we also look at kind of the portfolio of work. Um, all applications to the course are interviewed with the portfolio and any judgments would be made on that point. Um, I would say that the majority of our students probably are people coming from rethinking their careers, uh, re-looking at kind of their interests and their hobbies and whether they can turn this into a new kind of form of employment. So you'd be a fairly kind of common type of student for us. Izzy asks, do we need our own makeup kit? You will need your own makeup kit, but on the course, especially in the special effects department, there are products there for you to practice first. And in the when you're just doing like beauty makeup or body painting, there are a few products there, but we will help you to develop your own kit, what products to go for on your depending on your budget. And a question from Victoria, can I study part-time? Well, the short answer is yes. The fact is, if you look at it, it's kind of just doubling doubling your course. So you know, if you think of it in, in, in kind of basic terms, you know, a one year, what would normally take you one year part-time would take you two. But well, it's all done on a module-by-module module basis. But uh, you, you're, uh, if, you, if you want to talk to us about that, the, uh, the course leaders will be happy to talk you through the modules, the costs, uh, and what that entails study-wise. Okay, a question from James who asks, what student finance is available for the course fees? So the majority of our students will go through Student Finance England, where you can apply for the fees regardless of household income. Um, so the, the fees that which are laid out are on the website will tell, tell you how much your fees are per academic year. Some students do, however, pay themselves. And if that is something that you do want to do, uh, we can set up a payment plan for you. And in some cases, employers pay for the fees. And again, we can set that up for you also. Uh, for further information, if you go to the website, there's some little videos on there from Student Finance England, which will take you through the whole process. There's a question from Aaron. 
who asks, do I need to purchase any particular equipment in order to do graphic arts or graphic design at Hubert? Uh, no, not necessarily. We do have equipment, uh, specialist equipment within our design studios, Apple Macs, printers, etc. However, a lot of our students do tend to buy their own laptops. That way they can work in-house, take it home, come back in and work on a, a rolling basis that way. We also have lots of uh, workshops, so students who particularly like mark making buy their own sets of tools and equipment, markers, etc., which is always encouraged. Okay, I've got a question from Sally. She asks, uh, I work three days a week, so would I be able to attend the photography courses? I'd really like to develop my own practice. Um, yes, we've put a lot of effort into kind of condensing the the foundation degree in the BA honours into two days because we're aware that the course can't always happen within the classroom itself so we've kind of allocated enough time for students to work outside of the course and that may be kind of work as employment for, for living but also maybe work on assignment work as well um, but just to say though although you'd be timetabled within the course for two days uh, you do actually have bookable access to all the courses resources and the staff over a five-day period okay. oh um harry asks how does the course help you with getting your foot in the door into industry well, what it is through the course we teach you all the techniques and the skills that you'd need for industry and what they require from you. But also through the two years, we have portfolio days so you can build your portfolio whilst you're learning and that portfolio is ready for you to go see agencies. We also have the business module where we go in depth of how to get those clients, how to contact them, write their emails and what you would do when you have a meeting with them. Okay, uh, a question. Uh, I struggled with some aspects in school. What support is in place at Hugh Bird? Well, Frida, we've got a number of uh, avenues in terms of student support. Uh, as I alluded to before, we start with an induction, with your induction assignment, and, and we really try to get an idea of your individual starting point. Uh, we put on uh, workshops in terms of academic skills, um, study skills. Uh, you will also have uh, support from our student engagement officers who will... Uh, look after your, your journey through through uh, through the university centre and make sure that you, you are given access to the, the support you need. Uh, as I, and also alluded to, uh, for anyone with a particular uh, disability or a specific learning difference, it is also possible to access funding for uh, outside support in, in, in some areas. So uh, if you just talk to us about concerns and we, we will put the, the, the package of support in place that's right for you just to add to martin that um you know in general we we're dealing with smaller class sizes um within our courses so there's a lot of lot more kind of one-to-one -one support that students would receive of us than if you went to one of the larger universities which have much larger class sizes and it's much harder to actually get time to speak to your tutors about concerns or issues or support needs okay question for me from jane who asks where have past visual merchandising students gone on to in the work industry a range of different places. A lot of our visual, the visual merchandising course has been running for in excess of 15 years now. And we have students all over the world working. Um, and that can range from going into teaching uh, to go to 3D prop making. Um, some of our students are here. Sarah is one of our past students on the makeup course, for example. Uh, we have quite a few students in IKEA all around the world at the moment working in the visual merchandising and interior design departments. Uh, we have students in Waterford Wedgwood, who again is is global. Uh, Debenhams, Topshop, um, most of the retail outlets. Uh, they, they it's quite vast. We also have students uh, shop direct working in the buying departments. And we have one student who, who I taught many years ago who was actually um, a buyer for um, diamonds, believe it or not. So it's quite vast and quite um, uh, the, the skills that the students learn on most of these courses can take them into 
different careers uh, globally. So just to sum up, we offer a range of creative courses which are designed with industry in mind, designed alongside industry professionals, and not only give you the skills required for industry, but will teach you valuable problem solving skills as well. So in terms of the offer, uh, just in terms of the summary, we, we, we offer the FAD and the Year Zero, which, which are one year full time courses over uh, an average of two two and a half days which are designed to get you ready for undergraduate study and prepare you for for the, uh, the degrees themselves foundation degree courses uh, are over two years full time again normally over two and a half days and the top up year which is the honors year uh, is a one year full time course again over two and a half days and again just remember that all our courses are industry based and uh, will give you a really good uh, stepping stone into your chosen career. So thanks for joining us today. Don't forget that applications for September are still open. Uh, you can apply online by our website. If you've got any questions or queries, please get in touch with us through the website or social media. Thanks for joining us.